teacher. Hello, Francisco. How are you today? Ha good evening. Glad to see you. It's only you today. <laughs> yeah, it's almost eight, right? Mm, three minutes for the class. Good. You're on time. Excellent. First time. First time, but good. Good, good. Okay, there we go. Hi, I'm here. I'm here. The situation is that every, uh, there are some of your classmates that are having trouble connecting themselves because uh, they say that they don't have Wi-Fi. Just give me one second because I have to report this at the same time, okay? Okay, teacher. Uh, mm -hmm. Maybe... Raining and yeah, they say that it was raining last night. 
Mm -hmm. They say they are from uh, San Miguel, so I don't know what was the situation and the weather yesterday over there. So something happened. Mm -hmm. Oh, are you in La Chadura? I'm working too. Oh, you work there. But right now, are you there? Yes, yes. Oh, okay. So you are very far away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we we are very apart. Yeah. Oh my God. Long distance. Yes, long distance. Okay. Living in Acajutla. Okay. Mm, good. Good. Was it raining yesterday over there? No. Uh, uh, here, uh, in the moment, no. Okay, okay, good, good. Mm -hmm. Hello, Fausto. Hello, Sylvia. Hi, Leslie. Good evening, William. Welcome to your class. Are you all ready? Hi, teacher. Hi. Hi, teacher. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. How are you doing? Very fine. I'm okay. fine, teacher. Good. Good. Hello, Angeli. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm fine, too. Thank you. Okay, great, great, nice to hear. How was your cold going? Ah, no, it was Carla, the one who has the cold, right? Yeah, Carla was kind of sick, yes. But are you okay, Angeli? Yes, I'm okay. Okay, great, great. Everybody ready to start? Yes. Okay. Fausto, hello. Hello, Silvia. Hello, teacher. <laughs> How are you, Fausto? I'm fine. I'm fine, teacher. Thank you. Great. Nice to hear. Okay. The first thing that we are doing today is taking the attendance, okay? So we are going to take the attendance. Angeli Magali Coronado Diaz. Present. Okay, thank you. Um, Carlos Ernesto Rogel. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernandez. Uh, Conchita Maria, I think she's not coming anymore. Edward Ademir Noyola Brito. Eleani Alejandra Nativi Rivera. Elvia Janet Beltrán de Cabrera. Fausto Antonio Landaverde López. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Presente, okay. Carla María Los Guevara Callejas. María, um, perdón, Leslie Fernández Ochoa. Presente, teacher. Okay, Maria Fernanda Gavidia Guerrero, when she's having trouble, but she told me that she was on her uh, way to get connected. Just one second. Rita Beatriz Cabrero de Sea. Present teacher. Okay, Rosa Esperanza Vázquez de Girón. Not yet, Rosa, right? Sandra Beatriz Hernández Martínez. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. 
Present teacher. Okay, Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Will... Wilfredo, are you there? No. William Isaac Montoya Avila. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. There we go. Okay, we are starting today with a little um, review, let's say. So the first activity that we are going to do today is to scramble, I'm sorry, to unscramble, unscramble some words to form questions, okay? Just let me get there, please, for you. Okay, one moment. Hello, Rosa. Hello. Hello, Walter. Teacher, good evening. Good <laughs> evening. How are you? Hello. Um, Okay, great. I'm feeling, I'm feeling bad, the flu. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, my God. Well, I'm so sorry to hear that. Uh, get, will you get wet? Um, I'm sorry, you get well soon. Okay. You Thank have to take you. care of yourself. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Let's try to focus this. We are going to start with the first activity. Remember that we have very limited time. So. The first activity um, is to, to unscramble, okay? We are going to unscramble these words that I'm going to show you, and you are going to form the question, okay? This is the first word. Take note. Next word. Next word. Next word. Next word. Next word. Next word and the question mark, right? Okay, there you are. These are the words that you have to put in the correct order. You have to order all the words to form a question. Who wants to start? Let's see. Who wants to give a try? Okay, let's start then. Let's read the, the words. Can. Question. Next word. I. You. A, ask. Okay. Vamos a poner en orden estas palabras para formar una pregunta. Okay, everybody. Putting in order these words to form the question. Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead, Carlos. Hi, good evening. Can I, can I ask you a question? Okay, let's see if that is correct. Rosa, is that correct? Yes. Rosa, please activate your audio. I, I think so. Okay. Okay, now let's see, let's see. Yay, can I ask you a question? Can I ask you a question, okay? That's the correct order for these um, questions. So let's go to the next ones, okay? Let's go to the next ones. Okay. This is for you to start, okay? Let's see number one. This is quick, this is not going to think too much, okay? Let's do it as quick as we can, okay? Number one, number one, languages. Pick, can, the manager, how many, in the question mark. So let's see, Angeli, Angeli. Yes. Number one. 
How many the languages speak? Can languages speak the manager? Okay, let's see, um, let's see. Um, let's see here. Edward, please help Angeli. Number one. Edward, are you there? Uh, uh, sí, sí, okay, okay. Um, oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. um, I'm sorry, I I am work in the sentence too. <laughs> oh, okay, sorry. yes, everybody, everybody, <laughs> let's think. This is not to stay too much. We are not thinking too much. Just let put in order these words. Now, what is the first, the first um, expression that we, we can use from all of this in a question? Many. So, how many? many? Good, good. So this is the first one, right? So let's see. Mm -hmm. How many? How what? Many? Um, Languages. Languages, yes, languages. Uh huh. Can speak can the manager. Can, mm, what's the subject here? Who are we talking about? Can, uh huh. The manager can speak. speak. Yay, correct. The manager speak. And let's remember the question mark always, always. Never forget the question mark in a question. There you go. There you go. Next one, number two. Number two. Me teacher, number two. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, okay. Uh, can we use the leaf to the box to stores? Okay, let's see. Uh, Fausto, please help here. Uh, can we can we just start again again okay let's see which which words were in the correct order can you repeat edward please can uh-huh can we use uh -huh. the leaf uh-huh to store the boxes. Oh, today, yes, you are correct. To store <laughs> the boxes, correct. Okay, good. Okay, now it is correct. Number three, number three, guys. Number three, ah, let's remember always the question mark. Number three. Mm -hmm. Any idea? <laughs> Does Jeff? Mm -hmm. What is the meaning of pile up? Pile up is a verb to put a thing uh, over the other one, okay? To put things. Um one and then above you put another one and then above you put another one and then another one that's pile up oh, okay mm -hmm. okay the first word was does right okay does who jack okay great uh-huh does jack what this is an obligation right uh-huh has to help Yay. Excellent. Uh-huh. Does Jack. Ah, here there is something. Uh-huh. Look, if we are using does, we have to use have. Have. 
have, have. correct, good, feel good, happy. great. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Have happy. to help. Again. Fill it up, fill it up. Excellent. To help pile up, uh-huh. Um, the product in the warehouse. Correct. There you go. Everybody agree. Do you have any uh any other order that makes sense? Or is it okay? What do you think? Is this okay? Does it make sense? Yes, right? It makes sense. Good. Good. Here, it's missing something. It's missing a two for having the best sense. This is just grammar, okay? This two here, okay? It's grammar. So let's read it again. Does Jack have to help to pile up the products in the warehouse? Okay. This was kind of longer, right? Are we okay? I want you to say okay if you are okay. Okay? Okay. Okay, good. Elvia, are we okay with this? Are we okay? Okay, teacher. Great. Walter, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay. Uh -huh. Any question? No questions? Okay, let's do number four. Let's do number four. Who has an idea? Where did they where did they come? Where did they come? Store the tablets and cook computers. Where they store the tablets and computers. Okay, this is possibility, right? So let's remember that. After the question word, after the question word, we are going to use can. Uh -huh. Where they can. Where can. Yes. Where can what? Mm -hmm. Where can. Help me, please. They, they store. Mm -hmm. They store the. Tablets. Mm -hmm. Good. And let's remember the question mark always. Okay. There we go. There we are. Where can they store the ta tablets and computers? Where can they store the tablets and computers? Okay. Are we okay with this? I have a question, teacher. Tell me. Uh, why we use uh, can before the subject in this deep type of, uh, of question? Because that's the reason, because it is a question. If no. it is an affirmation or a an, uh, negative answer or a negative <laughs> sentence, then we use it after the subject. But in a question, can it goes before the subject? Okay. There you go. Great. Thank you, teacher. Great. Are we okay with this? Do you have any other question? Yeah. 
Do you have any other question? No question, teacher. Okay, great. Hello, Carla. How are you? Good evening. Hello, teacher. Okay, let's continue here. Let's continue. Uh, okay, vamos, voy a tomar este tiempito así para hacer una aclaracióncita. Eh, tuvimos nuestro uno a uno con Walter. And uh, yo le dije, y yo le dije que le iba a contestar una pregunta aquí en pleno porque en el momento yo no recordaba el nombre. Y yo aquí tenía un... Bote. Do you remember, Walter? I have a, I had a bottle here. Esa botella contenía algo que es muy delicioso que acompaña las pupusas. What do you think it is? Uh -huh. Ajá. Uh, curtido, right? Chocolate. Okay. Uh, wow, chocolate it would be, wow, delicious. Uh, hot chocolate. But... Era curtido. It was pickles, okay? Pickles. When the pickles, I mean, it has different vegetables like the cabbage and the carrot and cucumber and all of these sweet uh, vegetables in vinegar, they are called pickles, okay? It's called pickles. Y cuando es así, esa toda ensaladita, toda esa ensaladita de curtido, que se llama pickles, eso no es contable, ¿ok? Pickles. It's uncountable. Yo sí puedo, ese, ese es un, un nombre que es uh, confuso, porque puede ser contable y puede ser incontable. You can use it as known count or as countable. ¿Cuándo es contable? Ah, cuando se refiere a los pepinitos o a un solo vegetal. Okay. When you have only one kind of vegetable, like uh, the little cucumbers or the baby, uh, the baby corn. Have you seen the baby corn? That's a pickle too. Okay. Then you can count a pickle, two pickles, three pickles. Okay. And also you can, if it is sliced, okay. One slice of pickle, two slices of pickle, okay? And there you go. This is the difference. That is what I, that is why I said a bottle of pickle, okay? A bottle of pickle, right? Okay. Teacher, teacher. Yes, tell me, tell me. I, I live in, in the city. Pupusas. Oh, Oloquilta. Yeah, Oloquilta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know yeah. Oloquilta, yeah, and we love Oloquilta. Yeah. In the district, um, my city. Okay. Mm. Okay. Thank you, Walter. Uh, I hope, espero well. que esté entendido. Do you have any question about this? About the pickles? <laughs> okay, great. Anyone else with questions about the pickles? Are we okay? Okay, correct. There we go. Let's continue then and we go to the topic for today. Okay. Esa era una aclaración, right? Era una um, como continuando o contestando lo que me faltaba contestarle a Walter. So, uh, um, Ahora, ahora quiero que eh, entendamos que esta es la última clase de la unidad. It's the last class of the unit, unit number one. And um, we have to finish all homework, okay? For Friday, you had, I think, four homework, right? Four forms of homework, right? Right, I hope you did it. But today you have to finish the fifth, the fifth form in your platform, okay? So let's continue, let's continue. And there we are going. Let me here, I have to do this.
Okay. This is a sentence, okay? This is a sentence that we use a lot when we use our emails, okay? When you receive an email and you have to reply the email confirming that you received that information, okay? So we usually say, I'm going to send an, a, a confirmation email. I'm going to send a confirmation email. I'm going to send a confirmation email, okay? When you receive an email. So let's see the structure, going to. Ah, but it has something extra here. Just let me show you this, okay? Let's see, this. Okay, what is that? What is this? What is that? It's to be formed. Yes, it's to be form. Okay, then we can use it to be form with going to, to say something in the, that you are going to do something in the near future, okay? In the near future. It's not for a distant future, but for a near future. So let's read. What if in the negative form, we are not sending that confirmation email or we don't need to confirm that you received something. Ah, then we are going to use, I'm what? I'm not. not. Okay, then we are using I'm not. Going to not. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm not. What if, for example, we say, Carla, I'm going to uh, send you an email. Please send me the confirmation email that you received it. Okay. Then I am going to say, I'm sorry, let's go back here. So let me add here for you to take note about this. Carla, okay, is, ah, because it's she, right? The form of the to be here is Carla is, uh-huh, going to send a confirmation email. There we go, right? What if she doesn't have to send a confirmation? Why? I, I'm sorry. Wait, 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 wait. Just let me add here. Why do you think that she can't confirm something? Ah, because it's not so important, right? It's not so important. So she doesn't have to send a confirmation email. So uh, let's say that, let's say that. What will be in a negative way? Carla? What? Carla? Isn't. Isn't. Maybe isn't. Good. Mm -hmm. Carla isn't. Going to send a confirmation email. Great. Okay, excellent. This is in the negative way. Okay, so we know how to conjugate the verb to be, right? Uh, in that case, let's just remember that for you is you are going to, okay? You are going to Let's say send a confirmation email, okay? Now, let's think for we. What will be the correct sentence here? Ideas? 
We are going we to are send, going a to send a confirmation email. Great. We are going to mm -hmm. send, send a confirmation email. Okay, great. What about they? They, they are, are going to send a confirmation email. Okay. Great. Great. This, in this sentence, when we have Carla, it could be Carlos also, right? Carlos is going to send a confirmation email, right? And it will be he, okay? He is going. Correct. He, he is going. Mm -hmm. He is going to send a confirmation email. Okay, great. There you go. Great. What if it is automatically? What if it is automatically that, for example, Gmail is going to send a confirmation email by, email by itself? Ah, then it, right? It, uh huh. Is, is, it is going to send. Okay. It's going. Information email. Okay, there we have the structure. Okay, and you see that this is right uh, the same conjugation as the to be. But remember that when you see together the to be verb with going to, ah, they are not talking about the present. They are going to talk about something in the near future, something that will be happening in the near future, correct? Okay, okay, that's the use and this is the structure. Now, let's see. Ustedes lo miran completo y lo miran que ah, es, you are going to. It's a very long expression, right? He is going to. Ah, it's a very long spread, long expression. When you hear a native English speaker, when you hear a native English speaker, Maybe you don't understand when they are saying this structure because they use contractions, okay? They use contractions and we are going to hear something like this, okay? You're gonna, okay? You're gonna. Okay, you're gonna send a confirmation email. This is kind of the informal, informal way to say you are going to send a confirmation email. Then we could say it in a like faster pronunciation. You're gonna send, you're gonna send. Okay, everybody, I want to hear you saying that. Let's say first, you are going to send a confirmation email. Everybody, you are going you to are send going a confirmation email. You everybody. You are going to send a confirmation email. Again. You are going to send a confirmation email. You are going to send a confirmation email. Okay, Leslie, please, Carlita, please activate your audio and say it with everyone. You are going to send a confirmation email. You are going to send a confirmation email. Okay, there you go. If you see, it's a long 
long pronunciation, long sounds. Usually you are going to hear native um, English speakers saying, you're gonna send a confirmation email. You're gonna send a confirmation email. Everybody's saying it with me. You're gonna send a confirmation email. You're gonna send a confirmation email. Okay, you're, you're gonna. You're gonna send a confirmation email. You're great. You're gonna send a confirmation email. Okay, this is just for you to make the difference. Now let's continue with this. Let's continue because we have to cover a lot today. And next thing will be this. Okay, here. And this is the way to ask if you are going to do something in the near future, okay? Just to make this clear, let's see, I'm going to mention Carla again, okay? Let's see, I'm going to send you a confirmation email, Carla. Are you going to send a confirmation email? Okay. Are you going to send a confirmation email? Let's see. Everybody, uh, please, I want to hear you. Are you going to send a confirmation email? Are you going to send a confirmation email? Again, please. Are you going to send a confirmation email? Okay, now let's read the other one. Is she going to send a confirmation email? Is she, is she going, going to send a confirmation email? Okay, great. Okay, I'm going to ask. Rosa, I will send you a, an email. Are you going to send a confirmation email? Please answer. I, uh, yes, uh, yes, uh, I do. Okay, let's use the information in the question. Yes. Uh huh. I. I do. I, I do. I am. Here we don't have do. We don't have do. I, I going to. Yes, yes. I got. I, yes, I am going to. No, no. It, it's only yes, I am. Okay. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, okay. I am. Correct. Okay. That will be the okay. short answer. Are you going to send a confirmation email, Rosa? Yes, I am. Great, great. Now let's see, Carlos. Is Rosa going to send a confirmation email? Yes, yes, she is. Great. Let's see here. Let me add this. Uh, yes. Yes, she, she is. is. Great. There you go. What if Rosa um, doesn't want to send the confirmation email? What will we say in the negative way? way. No? Uh huh. No, she isn't. Great. No, she isn't. Great. Now, let's go back no, to this. What if, what if, Rosa is answering in the negative way here. Yeah. No. 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 A... I have no. Okay. Here no. we can use no. only one. I am no. Excellent. No. This is the. I am no. Excellent. Thank you very much, Rosa. Okay. I am no. But we want to use the most contractions as we can, okay? So we are going to say, no, no, no I am. I'm, I am no, no, I'm, I am not. not. No, I am not. Okay. No, I am not. Correct. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Great. There you go. So oh, this is, I am not. Okay, good. 
So let's continue because this is only the explanation. Now you are going to work, okay? Now you are going to work here. Let me go there. And this is your activity, okay? This is your activity. Aha! Uh -huh. What are you going to do after the class? This is the question for this activity. But now you are going to ask to your classmates, what is he or she going to do after the class? Okay, so number one, let's see. Carlos, please choose a classmate and ask. Carlos Antonio. Okay, teacher. Uh, what, what are you going to after to do after the class? Okay, let's see. That is the topic for this activity. Okay, that's okay. the name of the activity. So you are going to ask number one: Are you going to have dinner after the class? Okay, to a classmate. Choose a classmate. Okay, are you going to have a dinner after the class? Who? Who? Fausto is okay? Is okay to ask Fausto? Yes. Okay. okay, Fausto, then the question is for you. Uh huh. Can you I repeat? No, I'm not. Okay, great. Okay, Fausto, please. Next question. Ask to a classmate. Okay. Are you going to do homework after the class? Choose a classmate. Yes, I am. <laughs> Okay, great. Who is going to do homework? There you go. There you go. Okay, I'm going to uh, break out the room into groups. So you are going to ask these questions to your classmate, okay? There we go. There we go. There you go. In your WhatsApp? Or lo comparto aquí a la pantalla? Okay, I will send it. I will send it to the group. Okay. I will send it uh, to the group via WhatsApp. Okay, I'm going to. Uh, okay. Let's see. Okay. There we go. Again, I lost it. Here it is. kind of slow.
Okay, I'm sending it. Okay. You think you have you have it you have it there already? Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, good. Are you are you going to have dinner after the class? Um, no, 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 I am no, I'm not. No, I'm not. Okay. Yes. Uh, yes. Are you going to have? No, I'm not going to have. Okay, I think here you can ask one and then you switch and then you switch. Okay, and okay. there you go. And do it like oh. faster. Don't think too much. Just speaking, speaking, speaking. Okay. Want to oh, hear you. Okay. okay. Uh, are you going to the homework after the class? Uh, yes, I am. Okay. Yes, I am. Are you are you going to read uh, a book? No, I'm not. Okay. Um, are you going? Are you going? Okay. Yes. Yes. I mean, are you going to turn off the computer after the class? Um, no. No, I no, I not. Are you going to make a car after the class? No, I'm not. Are you going to go sleep after the class? Yes, I am. Okay. Uh, are you going to study why a uh, classmate uh, after after the class? No, I'm not. Are you going to play video games after the class? No, I'm not. <laughs> um, are I you know. are you going to are you are you going to watch? And class movie after the class? No, I'm not. Are you going to listen to music after the class? Um, yes, I am. No, I am not. Okay. Are you going to listen to music after the class? Mm, yes, I am. I love music. <laughs> <laughs> and you? Mm, no, I am not. <laughs> Is... Okay. Hago la primera y después la que yes. no dijimos, ¿verdad? You can start, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. are, you, are you going to have dinner after the class? No, I'm not. I am not. Are you going to do the homework after the class? Yes, I am. Okay. Are you going to read a book? Mm, yes, I am. Mm -hmm. Are you going to turn off the computer after the class? No, I am not. 
Ok. Are you going to make a call after the class? No, I am not. Mm. No, I am not. No. No, I am not. Eso cuando right. tenía tal vez eh, 20, 20, quiero ver, no. 21. <laughs> I don't I... know, oh, yes, 20, 28. Ah, last year, then. then. Last yeah. year, last year. You are very yeah. young. <laughs> <laughs> Let's well, say last year, last year. <laughs> last year. <laughs> That's yeah. just a joke, a joke, right? <laughs> Are, are you going to watch an English movie after the class? Oh, my. Yes. Como lo sé. Más o menos, hay veces sí, hay veces no. Sometimes. Sometimes. Or maybe, maybe. Maybe, okay. maybe. Very little. Excuse me? Sometimes. Maybe I am going to, right? That will be the best answer. Maybe I am going to. Maybe. Okay, continue. You are doing a great Maybe. job. Sometimes. Yes. Okay. Okay, thank you, teacher. Uh, are you going? I am too. I'm the movie class. Excuse me, la última, la lee usted. Yo le acabo de preguntar a usted. Last one, last ah, one. Vale. Entonces, pero solo. Uh, English, eh, please. Okay. Use your vocabulary. Uh, no, no, I am not. Okay. Okay, es uh, la cuestión. Are you going to listen to music after class? No, I am not. <laughs> Bohemio. No, I am not. Are you going to listen to music after the class? I am not. Este, number one. And the question, Carla, number one. Are you going to have the dinner as the class? No, I am not. Aha, uh -huh. how was the activity? What was it fun? Was it fun? Yes, it's fun, teacher. Okay. It's, it's, uh, I think it's not difficult. Okay, great. Great. Now we're going to go to our manuals. 
Okay, in our manuals, we have an activity to complete some sentences and we have to uh, reorder or unscramble those questions. Let's see, let me get there. Okay, there we go. We, already ha we have the activity number five and we have to put the words in order. And then when we see what's the question, then we are going to answer, okay? Let's do it together. Everybody, please activate your audio and let's try to put in order all these words. Number one. Number one. Okay, they, go ahead. They are they are going to um, they are uh, they are were going to they are they are going to where Okay, everybody helping, everybody helping, please. Uh, me, teacher. Okay. Where are they going to pick up the package? Again, where? Where are? Mm -hmm. We're going to start with are, capital letter, okay? Where are, are they, uh -huh. they going to pick the package are they going to pick up the package okay in this case we are talking about a place they want to know the place where to go and bring the package to send it or to ship it okay for shipping so the correct question is where are they going to pick up the package okay, okay. this is the correct question okay. now let's answer this question it's in the in the customer tomorrow afternoon okay let's see it will be like this uh -huh. tell me again uh, tomorrow afternoon uh but we're we're saying where not not uh when right we're saying where we need an address a pickup address pickup address what is a pickup address is the sender's address or is the person who send the package address okay in oh, this case, we uh, need a place where to go to pick up that package to ship. Okay. Okay, okay. So uh, maybe uh -huh. uh, in the postal office. The customers. Maybe. Oh, custom. You say custom or customers? Postal, postal office. Oh, postal office. Okay. Postal. postal office. Okay. But, or the post office, the post office. Okay. That, that will be the correct <laughs> word. Uh, the post office. Do you think that if I am shipping something, I am going to, okay. I am the post office. I am the post office. And I am asking where do I, as a post office, go to pick up the package? So in this case, en este caso, estamos hablando de el que envía, okay? El que envía. Pick up address es la dirección en donde voy a ir a recoger el paquete para mandarlo, okay? Pick up address. I go to get the package and ship it. Entonces, or then, 
I think here they are asking for a pickup address. Okay, a pickup address could be, could be, uh, let's say, um, flowers, flowers, this is a name of a company, any, okay? Uh, pretty flowers, let's say, right? Pretty flowers. Pretty flowers. This is the name of a company. Now, can you please tell me um, supposed address? Inventemos una dirección, okay? Pretty flowers. 11 Avenue. Okay, 11, 11 Avenue. Avenue. Mm -hmm. um, Main Street. <laughs> Great, I like it. It. Oh, that's good. That's good. I liked it. I liked it. Main Street. There you go. And where is this? Is this in New York? Okay. And let's say this is in New York and USA, right? That's for saying an address. That's what they are asking for. This is the information they are looking for. Where are they going to pick up the package? Um, if they are, if they are sending it, okay, then. Pretty Flowers, 11th Avenue, Main Street, New York, USA. Uh, a name of a company or and an address, correct? Place, right? This is the place where they are going to pick up the package. Number two. Number Boys. two, let's think. Boys. Uh -huh. Boys. 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 Okay, let's see. I'm going to make a, a, a try here. Um, maybe, Edward, can you help me please? See in your screen, see in your screen, if you have in this corner, right in this corner, a little pencil, a little pencil in a circle or something like that. Do you see a little pencil? Are you, are you on a computer no, or are you no. in a cell phone? I am in computer. In a computer. Okay, then there is a green line right at the top of your screen. Is that a green line? You line are there? you in English Corporation. Okay. Now, in that green line at the top, okay, please go to the button, men, the menu button. Váyase a los tres puntitos que están en la línea okay. de arriba, okay? Y dice ahí anotar. I don't know if you've, if you've got it in Spanish or in English, notation or something. Anotar. Is it there? Encuentra la opción en los tres puntitos. Do you find out the option? Mm, no, no encuentro los tres puntitos. Ok, give a click. Tienes In que... Options. Ajá, de un click. Uh, view options. Option. Option. Ok, options. there you go. You are, you are writing on the screen, right? Anotate, ok. Ok. A ver, ¿quién hizo esa línea roja, chicos? ¿Alguien hizo esa línea? ¿Se dio cuenta cuando la hizo? Quiero averiguarlo porque necesito, necesito que, por ejemplo, ahorita Edward encontró la opción. ¿Siguieron más o menos cómo era? Van arriba a la línea verde que está arriba y hay tres puntitos a la par. Ok, there you go, Edward. No, you're like you are right. Okay. 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 La línea roja yo la hice. ¿Quién es yo aquí? Vamos a ver. Corremos. Fausto. <risa> ok, perfect. Walter Mauricio. O ya no hay cómo borrarla. Ok, veo que Walter, Walter quiere usar eh, mi mouse. Ok, Walter quiere usar mi mouse. Walter wants to use my mouse. Ok, esto es para ponernos de acuerdo para poder hacer las actividades. Ok, pongámonos de acuerdo bien para que de aquí en adelante podamos hacer anotaciones y ustedes puedan escribir porque hasta el momento solo yo he escrito 
¿verdad? Entonces yo quiero que ustedes, a ver, le voy a quitar el, bueno, vamos a ver, Walter, le voy a dar a probar. Walter, are you there? Ok, use my mouse. Use my mouse. Use it. There you go. Good. You see? He, he is in the control. He, he's in the... <laughs> okay, now let's go back. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Now let's see. There you go. Now I am in my control again. So let's try uh, Edward. Let's try here. I'm going to go back to the place we were. I'm going to the race. Okay, can you please write the number two? Can you write number two? The correct question. Everybody helping. Everybody helping. Edward. Edward. No, permítame, es que al activar la, la, la cuestión de anotar, no, no podía activar el, el micrófono, perdón. Oh, ok, ok, that's a very important uh, fact. Now, let's see, Edward, eh, ¿puedes por favor escribir la, la pregunta correcta, número dos, number two? Maybe. Let's try. We are giving a try. Ve que arriba le aparece una línea de menú y dice texto or text and drawing and that. Entonces, vaya en texto. Where, where it says texto. Okay. Ya lo estoy escribiendo. Ah, uh, but we cannot see it. Ah, cuando le dé enter. Ok. There you go. Excellent, Silvia. Go ahead. Silvia, write number three. Okay, number three from Edward. Who is going to receive the shipping? Is that correct, everyone? Let's see, is that correct? Do you agree? Who is going to receive the shipping? Yes. Yes, yes it is yes. correct. Yes, it is correct. So let's see, Silvia, I saw you over there in the screen. Can you write an answer for this question? Who is going to receive the shipping? Can you write the answer for that question? Okay, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Are we okay there? Teacher, I don't know how to how to use. Uh, okay, this, you this have tab, just. But... Okay, there is a line or a menu line at the top of your screen, and it says mm -hmm. texto, dibujar, estampar, and erase. Hello. Do you see okay, it? It's like a pen. Okay. Okay, go ahead in that pen. When I, when I touch it, uh -huh. it just says bolígrafo, flecha, color. Okay, then you use, uh, in this case, bolígrafo, right? It's pen, if you mm -hmm. want. 
If you don't want that, you can use texto. I just have bolígrafo and resaltador. Okay, let's use bolígrafo and write as if you are uh, handwriting. We play basketball at the beach. Is it possible? Just bolígrafo, but... Until you press enter, I think it's going to show up. I don't have where to write, teacher. Okay, okay. No problem, Sylvia. Let's try it I'm later. My, I am from my cell phone. I think it's for that. No? Ex excuse me? I am writing from my cell phone. I don't know if that's... Because okay, I, then I that can't. is the situation because you may just just press, uh, I mean, just click on the little pen in a circle right in, in this corner, in this corner. Okay? Click on it. Uh. Mm -hmm. Did you? Uh, yes. Okay, what does it show? It shows the options, bolígrafo, flecha. When I touch bolígrafo, uh -huh. it says only bolígrafo and resaltador. Okay, go ahead with bolígrafo. But when I touch bolígrafo, it doesn't show anything. Okay, then. I don't know, I I don't know from the phone. Cell phone. Okay, okay, yeah. yeah. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I will try for my computer maybe, later. Okay, maybe later. Maybe you, you, okay, maybe you will find it out. Maybe you will find mm -hmm. it out. Okay, yes. but, thank uh, you. okay, thank you for trying. Okay, Um. let's see. Can you give me the answer for this question, Elvia? Who is going to receive the shipping? Elvia, any answer? Who is? Uh-huh. What person? What person is going to receive the shipping? Who is going to receive the shipping? Sure, I have a question. Okay, tell me. Because you is in this question. Ah, because in this case, we don't know if it is they, if it is we, if, and it's a general thing. That is why we use like is, because it's a third person also. It could be a he, it could be a she, okay? Then we use is. It's a general question. Okay, it's a third it's a, person. Yeah. Uh, mm, the traduction uh, translation is, uh, the, uh, the translation mm -hmm. uh, so como decir sería uh, un maybe the, the translation maybe sería quien va a recibir uh, yes yes uh, that's uh, correct uh, sí, sí, es, quien, quien va a recibir entonces uh, el, el Va a recibir en general es el is. Is going to, yeah, is going to. But uh, here there to. is a subject. There is a subject because it is who, okay? Even in Spanish, we say quien. So we are talking about a person, a third person. It could be the secretary, the manager. It the could reception. be. Excuse me? The reception. The receptionist. Good. The receptionist. Okay, and the formal way to answer, the formal way to answer here is the receptionist is, okay? There you go. The receptionist is, there you go. So this will be here and this, oh, I have to select here. From Edward, and I'm going to write it here. And then number three, let's think about number three. 
Well, it, um, what it could be, what is this question? What does it say? Mm -hmm. Can you tell me? When, 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 when is going, going to start to the to material? When is going to? Mm, when is what? When is the new material, because that's the subject, going to arrive? And then question mark. Remember, question mark at the end. So when is the new material going to arrive? Let's say an answer, please. What could be an answer for this? When? The, the warehouse eat. Mm, here we need time because the question is when. Um, time. On, on April 23. Okay, good. On April 23rd. Okay, 20. Third. There you go. Uh huh. We don't use the ordinal. No I mean, I mean the um, cardinal numbers. We use ordi ordinal numbers. Ordinal numbers are twenty third. Twenty third on April twenty third. There you go. Okay. Now let's go to. The next page here. Just let me erase. Do we agree with this? Yes or no? Any question? Questions? I don't have a question, Tisha. Okay, you don't have a question, so we are going to continue with this. Uh, topic just let me go just let me go there because we have something else to see before of the other exercise but first of all please i'm going to take the attendance again just give me one second and i'm going to do it angeli magali coronado diaz present teacher carlos antonio murillo hernandez present teacher carlos ernesto rogel Conchita María Cecilia, Edward Ademir, Noyola Brito. Present teacher. Ele Eleani Alejandra Nativi Rivera. Elvia Yanet Beltrán de Cabrera. Present teacher. Fausto Antonio Landaverde López. Present teacher. Okay. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Carla Mariela Guevara Callejas. Present teacher. Leslie Fernández Ochoa. Present teacher. Ok. Uh, María Fernanda Gavidia Guerrero. Rita Beatriz Cabrero de Sea. Present teacher. Ok. Rosa Esperanza Vázquez de Girón. Present teacher. Sandra Beatriz Hernández Martínez. Sandra, is there? No? Are you there? Okay, Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present teacher. Okay, Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Um, Wilfredo Guardado Rivera William Isaac Montoya Ávila Ok There we go Ok, now just let me share with you this little thing here One moment
And let's let's see some other questions, okay? Ah, in this case, they are asking for information. A long answer. You can explain whatever you want to say about what they are asking for. For example, number one, what are you going to do after the class? Rita. Rita Beatriz, what are you going to do after the class? The correct answer will be I'm going to or I'm not going to. Okay? There you go, Rita. Uh, I'm going to go to the sleep. Okay, I'm going to go to sleep. There you go. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, let's see. Where are you going to go on the weekend? Um, Carla, where are you going to go on the weekend? I am going, I am going to shopping. Okay, I am going to go shopping, okay? Yes, I am going to go shopping. There you go. When are you going to receive the shipment? When are you going to receive the shipment? Here we are talking about time. Time. Okay. Then any answer, please, Francisco? Yes. When are you going to receive the shipment? Any answer? Francisco Eduardo. When, when are you going to receive the shipment? Any answer, please? Any answer? Okay. The shipment going to... Uh, uh, Wednesday? In the morning. Okay, if you are going to make this question in the long way, you are going to start with I'm going, I'm going to, to receive the shipment receive. on, and then you say the time, right? I am going to receive the shipment on, and tell me the date again. Uh, Wednesday. Okay, then you yeah, are going morning. to. Okay, now say it completely. I'm going to receive yeah. the shipment on Wednesday morning. Can you say it okay. complete, please? Okay, teacher. I am going to receive, receive? receive the shipment. Receive the shipment on Wednesday morning. Good, good, good. Now, let's imagine that Walter is going to make a call right now. So I ask, who are you going to call, Walter? Who are you going to call? Uh, I am going to sister. I am going to call. No. I am going to call to my sister, okay? Or I am okay. going to I call my going. sister. Okay, thank you. Can you say it complete, please? Okay, Walter got disconnected. So, Fausto, who are you going to call? Sorry. Who are you going to call? I'm um, going to call. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Okay, here we are 
let's imagine. Let's, im okay, let's see. He got disconnected again. Yes. I know it. Uh, Fausto, are you there? Um, Fausto? I'm going to... Okay. okay, there you are. Let's see, let's see. I'm asking this question. Look, who are you going to call? Now, give me an answer for that. I'm going to to call. Uh-huh. Who? Uh, my my brother. Okay. Okay, I'm going to call my brother. Good. That's a good answer. Okay, everyone. Okay. Do you have any question about this? Do you have any question about this? Please practice. Please practice. Practice. Teacher, I, I, have, I have a question. Tell me. When we use are going to in the answer, we have to use going to and the uh, in, in this case, for example, uh, what are you going to do after the class? We, we, we are re, uh, answering the questions. We have to, I'm going to do, to do, um, play the guitar. Uh, we have to use do in this case. And the next uh, answer, and the next uh, questions, we, are, we use going to go and we, we answer the questions. We have to use, I'm going to go to the supermarket. It, it, that is, is my, my, my question. We have used to the verb after the going to. Yes, correct. Correct. correct, correct. Because the complete phrase that means something in the near future is complete. The to be the verb form, the correct one, and going to. Then you uh, add the verb or the action, okay? The verb or the action. Just let me see here. Okay. Oh. Thank you, teacher. Okay, great. There you go. For example, here, if you see the examples on the screen, you see after two, after two, then you have the verb, okay? The action, the action. What are you going to do after class? Where are you going to go on the weekend? If you see there is an action after going to, correct? Always, always there has to be over there a verb or an action, okay? Okay, thank you. You're welcome. So let's go again to, oh, let's go to the uh, mailing topic just to finish, okay? This is just to finish. And let's remember what is there in a shipping label? What is there in a shipping label? Let's see. First of all, what is a shipping label? Can someone tell me what is a shipping label? What is a shipping label? Mm -hmm. What is a shipping label? Can someone tell me? Let's see. It's a, teacher, it's a place when we have the instructions and reminder and uh, shipping, shipping. Okay. Or, or usually it's, it's, uh, it's used to identify uh, product and the, how do you say destino, ship, no, I don't know. Delivery, delivery address okay, deli or delivery destination. Address. Okay, thank you. Okay, now let's see, what is a shipping label? Thank you very much, Carlos. It's a sticker placed 
placed on the package, on the package that you are shipping, okay? On the package that you are shipping. What is there in a shipping label? What can you find in a shipping label? What can you find in a shipping label? Ideas? What do we have here? The address, right? Shipping address. address. This is shipping address, okay? Shipping address. Now, let's see. I'm going to show you this. Uh, huh. Okay, what do you find in a shipping label? Ah, there is a sender's address, okay? Sender's address. There is a space for the sender's address. The person who is sending the package, okay? The person who is sending the package, sender's address. The one who is going to receive that package, ah, recipient address. What do you think is the service method? Service method. What do you think it is? Service method. Ah, service method. Do you see here? Uh, ground, it says here, right? ground. This is service method. If it goes in a plane, if it goes by the sea, or if it goes landing, okay? So landing, it will be ground. Ground. This is the service method. And also service method is the time frame that this, is, this package is going to be delivered. For example, there is a service, a very common service for urgent packages, urgent, that it's called overnight. I send it today and you receive it tomorrow. Overnight. For example, it flies, the product flies on a plane the whole night and you are receiving this package right in the morning. That's a service method. Okay, that's a service method. Now, let's see. Do you see any barcode here? This is a barcode. Barcode. Okay. Barcode. Now, tracking number. Tracking number. Do you see any tracking number here? Yes. yes. Hello, yes. UPS, UPS round. Uh huh. Down there, you find the tracking number. This is to locate the package through the whole destination or transportation that it's taking. For example, this package is going to arrive to New York, then it's going to arrive, then it's flying to New Jersey, for example, or from, um, let's see here, from San Salvador, it comes to San Salvador and then it goes to Santa Ana. Ah, then it needs a tracking number to find out where the package is and the whole line of transportation, okay? That is the tracking number used. So let's see, there are different shipping labels. There are different shipping labels. For example, the prepaid label, prepaid label. It means that the company paid in advance, right? They paid in advance. Then, for example, if you want to return a package or a product that it didn't fit, this shirt doesn't fit on me. So then I return the package. I stick a return label. Stick a return label. It goes to the origin, it goes back to the origin. Mailing label, mailing label. Mailing label is similar to shipping label, okay? Mailing label is similar, exactly a synonym, okay? It's 
just like a synonym. Mailing label is a shipping label too. International shipping label, uh, it means that it goes beyond borders, beyond borders. It means, for example, from US to El Salvador, from El Salvador to Guatemala, okay? That's international shipping label. It's a different one. You pay, uh, you pay some taxes to get that label, okay? So the next one, domestic shipping label. Domestic shipping label. It means that the package is going to travel only in the country, in the country. It doesn't go out of the country. Domestic shipping label is for inside the country. For example, in the US, it goes from, let's see, Utah to Houston. That's domestic, okay? That's domestic because it doesn't go out from the United States, okay? Are we okay with this? These are just concepts. These are just concepts, okay? And information, information. Now, let's go. Let's go and... Hoy será un día de puras pruebas y de terminar de completar la unidad 1. Hasta el momento vamos bien? So far so good? Are we okay? Yes? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, do you have your cell phones? Do you have your cell phones there? Yes? Okay. Yo les voy a dar un código que ustedes tienen que ingresar, ok, y van a ir a, abran Google, abran Google, la búsqueda de Google, y pongan ahí, les voy a poner por el chat, ok, por el chat, les voy a poner ahí, join my quiz.com, ok, Busquen ahí joinmyquiz.com y en un momento les voy a pasar el código, ¿ok? En un instante se genera el código. Let's do a review from the whole unit. Whole unit. Your answer? The other going. One moment. Write the Let's be the. I'm going to write it down here. Uh, four six four. And then I said what? One. Five four one. There you go. Are you in? Let me see. Yes. Okay. Repeat the code. Okay, it's in the chat. Four six four five four one. Lo puede ver en el chat. Okay. Pudieron accesar. Sí. No veo a ninguno no. conectado. Le vamos a empezar después del nombre. Exacto. Yo voy a dar iniciar. I'm going to start. Okay. 
pero no veo que entren. Entonces, uh, let's see. It, it do, it's join my quiz. Yes, lo voy a reescribir. Join my a, uh, quiz. Excuse me? That come. Join my quiz. That come. Rita Beatriz, soy Juan Mayora, Leslie, Carlos Antonio, Fausto. Okay, but I can't see here. Let's see. No, no me deja entrar en el juego acá. Let's see. Four, six, four, five, four, one. Sí, estamos correcto acá. Y dice, esperando que los participantes se unan. Entonces, oh, todo está conectado, todo está bien. Yo sé mi check. Porque yo no los puedo ver a ustedes. Vamos a ver. Ah, pero si le doy reload, me va a cambiar el código, creo yo. Let's see. I hope not. Okay, there you go. I have nine. Aha, uh -huh, there you go. Are you ready to start? Let's see, Sylvia is in. Aha, uh -huh. who else? A ver, just let me check. Sylvia, Rita, Carlos, Leslie, Edward, Fausto, Elvia, Francisco, and Marielo. So it means William is not there. And who else? Okay, lo iniciamos. Ah, there you go, Rosa. Good. Good. Okay, now. Yo le voy a dar iniciar. ¿Ya han jugado este juego? No, teacher. No? Les va a no. aparecer la pregunta. The question is going to be, uh, to show up over there. Y si, por ejemplo, ustedes presionan una respuesta y no continúa, no pasa, quiere decir que hay más respuestas. Entonces busquen todas las que son correctas. ¿Ok? Y nomás ustedes terminan, ella sola agarra su respuesta y me la envía a mí. ¿Ok? Así que, now we are going to start. Three, two, and go.
Focus, focus, focus on the question and then click on the answer. Good, Rita. Thanks. Go, Fausto, go. Let's see who's in first place. Please. Go, Edward, go, go, go. Good, Rita. You're doing a great job. Great. Excellent, Silvia. Excuse me. Uh -huh. It started to rain here. Uh -huh. and Did I you get disconnected? Yes, but I finished the game. Did, did the, you finish the game? Because I see only two questions from you, Edward, at the moment. So I'm going to update this. Maybe it shows. It shows up, maybe, because I have only two questions from you. Hello? Okay, there you go.
the signal is unstable. Unstable. Yes, uh, internet is internet is unstable here too. My connection. Let's see. It's because of the weather today, huh? Let's see, Rita has eight questions already. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, but you are doing a great job. I see here the precision is just one second. Almost 70%, 70%. Let's see. No, Edward, I can't see you here in the list. You got disconnected and it doesn't show up. Wait for the other one, wait for the other one because I think we, we have enough time to do the other one. Let's see. I send in the uh -huh. picture in the group, WhatsApp group. Uh -huh. Okay. Good. It doesn't show in mine. I don't know why. Excellent. Great, Edward. You did a great job. 14, correct. Oh my God. Almost a 10. Oh, good. Let's see here. Yes, I don't I don't have uh, your name on the list. Did everybody finish? Yes, teacher. Okay, Francisco, let's see. Mm -hmm. There you go. Good. Okay, for some reason it doesn't show the last screen, this thing. It, it got me disconnected too. So just give me one second and I will get, did everybody finish? I think only one is yes, missing. Teacher. Yes, yes? teacher. Yes? Okay, yes, I'm going to press end here, okay, to see. Let's see, let's see. Yes, you say it's unstable. Yes, it is. Okay. One moment. 
And the first place is for, uh, second place is for Edward. First place, Silvia. Yay, good, good. Congratulations, guys, you did, you did a great job. You did a great job. How did you feel these questions? How did you feel these questions? Were they easy? Easy? Kind yeah. of. So, so. Kind of. Kind of easy. Okay. Yes, this is to practice wow. and this is the real English. Okay. So, uh, well, it's 10 o'clock. So we have just the last thing for today will be that I have, um, uh, in this case, a vacancy. Oh, there is a place available for the tutorial today, okay, for the assessment. So who wants to stay with me 10 minutes for questions and answers? Tengo una vacante, así que el día de hoy puede quedarse uno de ustedes, los 10 minutos. ¿Quién quiere ese puesto? ¿Alguien necesita ese puesto? para quedarse conmigo 10 minutos y yo con gusto le contesto las preguntas que tenga. O refuerzo de lo que usted necesite. ¿Alguien tiene el tiempito de 10 minutos más? Ok. Mi teacher. Ok, Leslie. Good, good. Okay, then everybody class dismissed and see you tomorrow. Have a great night, everyone. Okay, bye bye. Kisses and hugs for everybody. Kisses and hugs for everyone. Bye bye. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. bye. Okay, Leslie, here we are. Let's see. Okay, tell me. Okay. Este, sí, fíjense que, bueno, yo tengo muy, el, ahorita que hicimos la práctica esa del juego, este, me confundí mucho en el how many and how much. Mm -hmm. Entonces, este, Eh, no sé si usted me podría explicar más o menos cuál, en qué momento se podría aplicar el how many y el how much. Ok, good, mm -hmm. good. Let's see. I'm going to show you. Uh, just let me get there. <clears throat> okay, here. Y después vemos el manual, okay? Primero voy a explicarte un poquito. I'm going to explain something about the uncountable and the countable nouns. What does it mean? It means that there are things like cell phone, right? Bracelet, um, speaker, cable. These are countable nouns. Why? Because I can say one speaker, two speakers, three speakers, four speakers. Then I can count these objects, right? For example, I can count how many cell phones are there maybe in uh, anywhere, in my house, for example. One cell phone, two cell phones, three cell phones. This is countable noun. Cell phone is a countable noun. For countable noun, I use how many, okay? Countable, how many. 
I'm going to repeat the question. How many cell phones are there in my house? Ah, one cell phone for me or my cell phone, my husband's cell phone, my daughter's cell phone. Then I'm counting, okay? How many cell phones? Oh, there are four cell phones, for example, will be the answer. Now, let's think about things that we cannot count. Things that we cannot count. Hay cosas que no se pueden contar. For example, we could say food, drinks, substances, and abstract things. Estas cosas son incontables. Por ejemplo, mm -hmm. this is an example. Drinks, soda, coffee, water. What other drink can you tell me? Drinks. Lemonade. Uh, what else? Let's soda. see another one. Hmm? Soda, no. Okay, soda. Mm -hmm. So, this, these nouns that we said, they are uncountable. So, we cannot say how many soda or how many uh, water. No, that's incorrect. We have to mm -hmm. say how much water do you want, for example, or how much water do you need, right? We use how much with the uncountable nouns, and we use how many with the countable nouns, correct? Got mm -hmm. it? Eh, o sea, que many es para contar y much no es contable. Yes, well, correct. Right. For example, so, money. Money is not countable, right? Because we don't say one money, two money, three monies. We don't say that. We say the amount of money. For example, if we say, how much money do you have in your pocket? Then you say an amount, okay? How much money? Uh, it's uncountable. So I use how much, correct? Got okay. it? Okay. Okay. okay, now let's go to, ah, let's think about substances, substances. Ah, it could be like, um, let's say thinner, thinner, for example, it's a substance. Um, let's see, um, makeup, makeup, the thing that we use, the foundation, it's uncountable because it's a substance, okay? Mm -hmm. It's uncountable. So I say, how much uh, makeup foundation do, uh, do you wear? Okay, ah, I use this. And that's why we use how much because it's a substance. Now, let's see, for ex oh, snow, snow, for example, it's another substance, right? It's water, but it is solid. So we say, uh, how much snow? We don't say how many snow. How much snow is correct, correct? Now let's go and see this picture, the picture that I showed in class here. What do you see here? What do you see? Ah, what do you see here, for example? Mm. Uh-huh. Mm. No, I'm going to show see. this in a big thing. Oh. One moment. Again. Aha, there you go. Aha. What do you see in the first picture? Do you know the name of these things? Mm -hmm. Yeah, how do we call them in English? Tools. 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 Yeah, tools. so you are seeing tools. Can you count tools? One tool, two tools, right? So you can count the tools because they okay. are things. So how many tools do you see here? Oh, mm -hmm. if we count them, a lot, a lot of tools, right? Let's say a number. Let's say a number. Oh, I see 100 tools there. This is an example, okay? How many tools are there? How many tools are there? Correct? It's countable. Now, let's think 
about this other? What do you see in this picture? Mm -hmm. What do you think it is? Uh, vino. vino. Okay, how do we say vino in English? Mm. Wine. Mm. Wine. 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 Okay, yeah. you see wine here. Okay, but we cannot mm -hmm. count wine. One wine, two wines. Mm -mm. We don't can count that. What mm -hmm. can we count? Ah, we can count the barrels, for example. These mm -hmm. barrels. How many barrels do you see in this picture? Okay. Okay. How many barrels of what? Of wine. Okay. How many barrels of wine? But if mm -hmm. I say, for example, for example, how much wine do you see in this picture? How much wine? do you see in this picture? Then I'm not talking about the containers, huh? I'm talking about the liquid, yes? Mm -hmm. Si yo yes. hablo de los contenedores que hay ahí, por ejemplo, ¿qué contenedores podríamos tener? Botellas, cajas de vino, ¿qué más? Barriles, Barriles. okay? Barrels, boxes, and bottles, correct? Those are okay. containers. I can okay. count the containers. So the containers use how many? How many containers do you see over there? How many okay. containers? Then you can tell me any number. Is that correct? Okay. Okay. But if I, I'm speaking about the liquid, then I say how much wine do you see, mm -hmm. right? If I, if I ask you about the containers and I say, how many, how many containers of wine are there in the picture? Correct? No. I can count with how many. I cannot count with how much. Correct? Okay. Okay. okay, now let's do just a little exercise. I don't know if I can, I can show you this one moment. Uh, let me see if I can. Let me see, let me see. No, cannot. Another moment. Okay, let's use this one. Let's use this one. Uh, don't see these questions. And let's try. Glass bottles. Glass bottles. Do you see here glass bottles? Yes, um, botellas de vidrio, right? Glass bottles. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Glass bottles is countable or uncountable? Can you count bottles? Is countable. Okay. Then. What am I going to use to ask? How many or how much? How, how many? Okay, let's make this question. Let's make mm -hmm. this, let, let's do, let's do it together. Okay. How many? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Glass. 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 Are there in stock, for example? Okay. Okay. Because it is countable, right? Now okay. let's think about um, medicine. medicine. Mm -hmm. Do you think um, medicine is um, countable or uncountable? Uh, no, countable. No countable. Okay, let's see. For example, if we are talking about a syrup or a jarabe a syrup, then, mm -hmm. ¿cómo preguntaríamos cuánta medicina tomaste? Okay, o tomas. Uh, how much 
-hmm. Medicine. Drink. Okay. How much medicine do you do you drink? Drink. Okay. Let's say drink. Even though we could say take, right? Mm -hmm. Do you see? Now, do you understand the difference between how many and how much? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Good. Good. Any other question, Leslie? Eh, no, teacher, solamente eh, ahí tenía mis dudas, pero okay. ya me lo dejé. Ok, good, good, good. Excelente, entonces. Excellent then. Um, let's get ready for tomorrow and see you tomorrow, ok? Ok, teacher. Have a great night. Bye, Bye Leslie. Teacher. Adiós. Bye.